Hi friends, how are you guys doing? Tesla stock has been doing really well for us and the stock has been spiking so high at one point of time just before this video it hit almost $600. So the question now is can we find the next Tesla or can we find the next Amazon? And today I'm going to show you which stock I think is going to be the next Amazon or Tesla. I'm pretty sure by now all of us has felt this disruption which is called the Amazon effect. The Amazon effect has caused a death on retail. Amazon has closed down like 30% of retail malls in US and is affecting a lot of places all over the world. How many of you have noticed stores closing where you work and live here in Ohio? Raise your hands. It's not just you. Amazon alone is closing 30% of America's stores and malls, soaking up $20 billion in business. The thing is, outside of the US, is there another company like Amazon? Today, I'm going to introduce to you the two biggest e-commerce giants in China and in some parts of the world. The two biggest e-commerce giants are Alibaba and Jingdong, short form JD. So Alibaba was started by Jack Ma and Richard Liu started JD. In this video, I'm going to cover the difference between Alibaba and JD. Although these two companies seem very similar on the surface, but actually they are very different kind of companies. There's a lot of things to compare about these two companies, but I'm going to concentrate on what I think is the most important, which is the fulfillment, which means the customer experience. So this is how Alibaba does the fulfillment of orders. When the factory receives the order, that means it could be any suppliers out there, they receive the order, they directly send the order to the customer. So this is how fulfillment is done by Alibaba. This is how JD fulfilled the orders. The goods are already stored in JD warehouses all over China. And when the customer orders, JD does the direct fulfillment. If you think about this, it sounds exactly like Amazon. You know all the warehouses Amazon has all over the US and in some parts of the world? This is how JD does it. It is basically a copycat of Amazon. So this is how Amazon does it. Amazon takes goods from the suppliers and store it at the warehouse and when the customer orders the goods, Amazon will do the fulfillment. Why do I think this is a better business model? Is because JD controls the customer experience. Can you imagine as a customer, you order from a supplier like through Alibaba and let's say the supplier screw up, they forget to ship the goods. There is a lot of logistics issue that could happen from the time the customer orders. So if you have like companies like Amazon and JD doing direct control of the customer experience, it actually solves a lot of headache. The next advantage is faster fulfillment. So because they are such a big company, everything is automated. And because they are such a big company with such a big operation, these operations tend to be a lot smoother and it's all automated. So what happens when you have such a big scale operation like Amazon or JD, you basically have a logistics monopoly. So you have fleets of vehicles running around for you and that brings down the cost of delivery lower, giving more savings to the customer. And from an investors and company standpoint, this is the most important point, extreme mode. You look at Amazon, do you remember the initial days of Amazon spending lots of money all their profits goes back into building infrastructure. This infrastructure is not easy to be built and they spent a lot of money building this infrastructure. The same exact thing happened to JD. Again, JD is just copying Amazon. So they haven't been pulling much profits in the last few years because whatever money that they receive, they take it to spend on infrastructure. And because of this, imagine, you want to have a competitor come in. The competitor is going to have a really, really tough time because building infrastructure is not easy and it's very capital intensive and it requires so much work. That's why Amazon is dominating. Now let's go directly into the charts for both the stock. This is the one year stock chart for JD. Looking at the purple line, if you look at the purple line, JD was on a downtrend and the moment they broke the downtrend, it became a sideways trend to an uptrend. So now you see JD is kind of like moving in a upwards trend. One movement up, consolidation, one movement up. 
I guess it may consolidate for a little while and such investment thesis takes time to play out. Let's now take a look at the longer term view. So this is JD when they went IPO doing 2014 in the US stock market and it's been going like sideways, uh, then went up, went came down. This The stock came down here because the JD CEO was accused of rape. So think of it, imagine Elon Musk is accused of rape. So I'm pretty sure the Tesla stock price would probably drop by 50%. Anyway, let's, let's not talk about Tesla now. Uh, let's not talk about CEOs. But anyway, he is not guilty and kind of like the stock price has moved sideways and up. Part of the up movement is because JD has now started to do the Amazon thing. So a lot of money last time over here was used on infrastructure. So now they're starting to take profit. Let's now look at Alibaba's stock chart. So I actually draw this graph long time ago. So Alibaba has been listed for quite some time and the stock price has went up. This is called a wedging pattern. Those who have followed my previous videos, you roughly know what the wedging pattern is. Again, I kind of like describe it now. It's where the stock price will kind of like squeeze in, squeeze in, and eventually it will burst. So where we burst up or down is a 50-50 bet. In this case, uh, a squeeze for Alibaba burst up. The reason why I guess it burst up is because See, most stocks, if you're looking at every single stock out in the stock market, over the long term, stocks goes up. So the chances of a stock bursting upwards is a lot higher than a stock burst downwards. So that is just the stock market. So if you're looking at Alibaba now, it is pretty high. And uh, I'm not the kind of investor who like to go in at highs. I prefer to go in when the stock price like come really bad and really down I see a 30% a 50% correction and if I know the company is fundamentally sound I will put my money in so looking back at Baba now it's not the right time and Baba it has already priced in Baba feels like a Google it feels like a Facebook where people know that okay this stock is fine what we are looking for what we are looking for now is like Tesla and Amazon in their previous days before they start to shoot up. So now we are looking at JD. So this whole time of consolidation left to right here, JD hasn't really been earning a lot of money. And for what I see, JD is going to double or triple its evaluation coming 5 to 10 years. Not on the short run, but on the longer term. I'm always a long term investor. I buy and hold. Um, I feel that JD is going to double, triple minimally. Hey guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Help give me a thumbs up. It really helps a lot in the YouTube algorithm. I will highly appreciate it for that thumbs up. And again, remember to invest safe and take care.